In today's episode of In the Weeds, I'm really excited about some research where we're going to look at ways that we can go about optimizing the ExtendFlex system as well as trying to minimize the risk of herbicide resistance evolving within that system. We're now going to take a look at some applications that we made and the effectiveness of those applications on larger than labeled pigweed. To my right here, we have a untreated check. Uh, we're now 28 days after the initial applications uh, had occurred in this field here. On my left-hand side, we have 32 ounces of Interline or Liberty, which would be a glufosinate product. And with a larger than labeled application, we had initial necrosis of these plants, uh, but because of their large size, we see that those plants have regrown. This to my right is Extendamax. This would be 22 ounces of Extendamax uh, by itself. We're 28 days after application. And what we notice here is we've got uh, a lot of sh smaller plants or what appear to be shorter plants than what we saw with the glufosinate alone application. And that's because basically the plants have laid over to the soil surface and now they've turned upwards, those plants that survived the application. As we look at this versus the glufosinate alone, the percentage of plants that we actually killed really did not differ uh, in between these applications. Now what about mixing glufosinate uh, with dicamba? That's not a labeled application at this point, but if we take a look to my left, we have a mixture again on larger than labeled weeds of glufosinate plus dicamba. What we notice is on these real large weeds with a TTI nozzle, we're getting some regrowth uh, actually, the regrowth that we get here looks a lot like what we get with glufosinate alone. So the amount of activity that we have with the oxen herbicide is diminished when we mix dicamba and glufosinate together using a TTI nozzle. Come and let's take a look now at using sequential applications of dicamba and glufosinate or glufosinate and dicamba. The treatment that I'm standing in front of here, I'm really excited about. I think it does a lot in terms of providing a high level of control, as you can see here uh, in this shot, as well as the fact that it really helps mitigate the risk of herbicide resistance. And this is a program in which we have dicamba. And again, it was on dicamba on larger than labeled pigweed. We came back 14 days later with 32 ounces of Liberty or Interline, a glufosinate type product. And what we've seen in site year after site year of research is taking dicamba and following it 10 to 14 days later with a glufosinate application has been very effective in controlling weeds like Palmer amaranth. And again, just to illustrate the effectiveness, if you look behind me here, you can see in the foreground we have 100% control whereas the untreated check is behind me and we have weeds now, Palmer amaranth in this plot here is upwards of four uh, going on five feet in size uh, 28 days after the application. What we're seeing in this plot is the use of Liberty on larger than labeled pigweeds or glufosinate and then we're following that with a dicamba application approximately 14 days later and what we've seen repeatedly in site year after site year worth of research is when we spray Liberty a contact herbicide and we come back 10 to 14 days later with uh, an oxen herbicide such as dicamba we generally see less effective control than the reversal of that order. In other words, again, our recommendation is dicamba followed by Liberty 14 days later rather than spraying a Liberty product and then coming back with the uh, dicamba following that Liberty application. You see here we've got a lot of plants that survived. Uh, these plants are going to regrow. We do have a lot of, of kill here, but it's not as effective as what we see when we properly apply these herbicides. Just in summary again today is if we're taking a look at an ExtendFlex system using dicamba on the front end for pigweed control and then following that 14 days later with glufosinate is what we're going to recommend. And as usual, we appreciate the support that we get for projects like this from industry. And we look forward to seeing you next week on our next episode of In the Weeds.